This home here, as you can see, it's gone. But thankfully, no one was inside when the fire took place. But the flames were so powerful that they spread here to the Augusta neighborhood store, forcing this business to close down for some time. Now, we spoke with some people, and they say this spot is a community favorite. Never. Never have. Living in Augusta since 1948, Edmund Fobbs has never seen so much of the city in flames like it has been in 2022. I know there's got to be some arson somewhere, but ain't nobody catch nobody. Black bricks and rubble, all that's left for two homes on Main Street. Augusta Fire Chief Terry Shadwick tells me this home caught fire twice, just one month apart, December 27th and January 27th, spreading to a building next door. It's a place to come and have a good time. Fob says he used to work here at the Augusta neighborhood store and misses stopping by. And just a short drive away, Paul Kissinger, uh, you're welcome. the owner of Kissinger's Furniture, is blessed to still have people visiting. Just lucky it didn't do that here. Directly across the street from his business, this home caught fire on January 14th. They're just burning them is all I know. For, it seems for no reason. One lady we spoke with off camera says her house was burned down on Christmas Eve. The fire department told her it looked like someone intentionally said it. It's scary. You know, you don't know who's next. On January 20th, Augusta Mayor Jeff Collins took to Facebook saying, quote, it's obvious these fires are intentional and a $1,000 reward is being offered for the arrest and conviction of those responsible. And Fire Chief Terry Shadwick says no deaths or injuries have been reported so far, and they want to make sure that this is stopped. So if you have any information, contact the city of Augusta. We'll have that number posted on our website at KARK.com. In Augusta, I'm Gary Burton, Jr., KARK4 News.